On January 22, 2023, the first high-speed subway line in the history of Turkey, built by China, was officially opened and put into operation. On that day, Turkish President Erdogan personally took the China-made subway from the center of Istanbul to Istanbul Airport. Speaking of Istanbul, the economic and cultural center of Turkey, some people may feel a bit unclear. But when you mention its other name, Byzantium, everyone is familiar with it. As a city with a thousand years of cultural history, Istanbul is renowned both at home and abroad, but it also faces the embarrassment of a lack of public transportation. Since Turkey's independence, Istanbul has been excluded from the subway network, and citizens' transportation has been extremely inconvenient. It was not until China intervened and helped Turkey establish a subway line connecting the center of Istanbul to the local airport that Istanbul achieved a breakthrough in high-speed subway service. All train sets on this subway line were independently developed by China, and from the parts to the complete vehicle, they represent the highest level of China's subway research and development. At the same time, this is also China's first high-speed subway project with a speed of 120 km per hour exported overseas. The ultra-high speed is also accompanied by fully automatic driving mode. The operation of the train during the running process is controlled by a powerful computer, which is both safe and efficient. The China-made subway in Turkey has become a shining business card for made in China. Not only that, but China also broke the speed record of Turkey's subway system. So, what is the story behind Turkey and China's subways? What kind of role did China's infrastructure construction play this time? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. After the subway line officially opened, starting from the center of Istanbul and arriving at the newly built international airport, the whole journey only takes 24 minutes. As the saying goes, to get rich, build roads first. The opening of the Istanbul subway is not just about connecting the city center and the airport. Economic development and the booming tourism industry have both experienced explosive growth due to the subway. According to estimates, in the next 30 years, Istanbul's global tourists will continue to grow ultimately reaching a peak of 160%. Many Turkish media outlets have praised the Made in China extraordinary subway in Turkey, and China's construction team has surprised everyone. Well, China has repeatedly impressed other countries with its outstanding strength. They have gone from questioning to shutting up, and from shutting up to praising. According to the Istanbul government's plan, this subway line will be connected to the upcoming high-speed rail in the future, creating an airport subway high-speed rail closed-loop operation. It is very likely that China will win the bid for this new project again. 147 years before the opening of the Istanbul Metro, Turkey's first metro line was officially put into operation. It was the second oldest metro line in the world, although it ran slowly and was only 573 meters long, it could transport tourists from the pier to the downtown area of Istanbul. Today, the ancient metro line is still in operation, and many tourists go there to take the subway to the city center. In fact, since its construction, the metro line has been popular. One end of it is the financial center of Istanbul, and the other end is a mountaintop over 60 meters high with coffee shops scattered around. The ancient metro line has always maintained a configuration of two cars, with a daily passenger flow of over 10,000 and an annual passenger flow of more than 5.5 million people. The 500-meter route connects Istanbul's bustling and peaceful areas, giving Istanbul residents a unique expectation for the subway. From one of the oldest subways in the world to the high-speed subway line constructed by China, Istanbul has waited for 147 years, which is too long. The changes of the years have transformed Istanbul from an ancient city into a modern metropolis, and China has also evolved from an ancient country, through the humiliation of modern times, to become a world power and contribute to its old friend. According to Turkish official estimates, the newly constructed Chinese subway will carry more than 800,000 passengers per day, making it convenient for travelers from Asia and Europe. After 147 years, the once-old metro of more than 500 meters has become a 34-kilometer long high-speed subway. Although some Western media have obstructed it, believing that China is building the subway for other reasons, the successful construction of the Istanbul subway is a win-win situation for both China and Turkey.
In China's plan to open up overseas infrastructure markets, Turkey, spanning the Asian and European continents, is particularly important. On the one hand, Turkey is closely connected to the European Union and carries a highly developed global economy. On the other hand, Turkey is connected to energy-rich countries in Central and West Asia and plays a critical pivot role. For China, Turkey is the bridgehead for Chinese infrastructure companies to enter the European market. China has been waiting for an opportunity quietly. Finally, in October 2019, the Istanbul government officially opened bidding for the construction of the subway. Six months later, CRRC Jujo Locomotive Company, Limited became the only bidder that met the standards and was expected to provide 176 trains. According to official sources, the entire project is worth over 1.5 billion yuan. Of course, this amount is not significant compared to the super projects that cost hundreds of billions, but the significance it carries is enormous. The entire subway project has an indelible importance for China's infrastructure exports. On the route of the Belt and Road Initiative, there is a country that cannot be bypassed, which is Turkey, located at the intersection of Asia and Europe, and controlling the Bosporus Strait, the throat of Eurasian waterway transportation. In the great empires that spanned three continents of Europe, Asia, and Africa, such as the Persian Empire, the Alexander Empire, and the Roman Empire, Turkey had a place. Although modern-day Turkey is no longer as glorious as it was in the past, it still has an important strategic position and political and economic status. As one of the new 11 countries, Turkey still maintains economic growth under the influence of the COVID-19 pandemic, with a GDP growth rate of 11% in 2021, ranking second in the world. As a regional power, Turkey maintains continuous attention to Middle Eastern affairs and actively participates in consultations while maintaining its diplomatic independence and developing friendly relations with countries of different types. As an important member of the Islamic world, Turkey's influence among Islamic countries cannot be underestimated. Its successful transformation from a colonial rule to a modernized country is worth learning from. It is precisely because of this that Turkey's modernization awakening and reforms can be so rapid and thorough. In 2015, on the basis of integrating multiple plans in the past, Turkey proposed the Middle Corridor Plan, aiming to connect Europe, Central Asia, and China together and promote the development of countries along the line by using convenient transportation. This plan coincides with China's Belt and Road Initiative. Therefore, China's ability to undertake the Istanbul subway project in Turkey largely indicates mutual trust between the two countries, which is a good thing for China's infrastructure going global and Turkey's continued development. It is also with the help of Turkey's Middle Corridor Plan that China is able to demonstrate its highest level of subway research and development through cooperation with Turkey. In Turkey, the International Rail Vehicles, Infrastructure and Logistics Exhibition is one of the three major rail transportation exhibitions in Europe with high gold content. And this exhibition is a key occasion for China's CRRC to showcase its capabilities. The reason why CRRC Zelk was able to win the Istanbul subway project was precisely due to its outstanding performance at the exhibition. In fact, Made in China has successfully won a good market reputation and international credibility through Turkey. In the past two years, more and more Chinese companies have appeared at Turkish exhibitions. Chinese companies from various industries such as Huawei, Eastern Communications, and HTGD have all found their corresponding positions in Turkey. China and Turkey's cooperation in infrastructure construction has successfully radiated throughout the entire industry. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.